hello and welcome to my channel in this video you will see an application of mosaic um, gel color that is called moss it's either moss or mos i'm not sure and the color is called plus 23 celsius and i'm also using a base coat uh, base gel called base architect and you will also see me use two different top coats to compare and um, they are the perfect top gel and on the other hand i use the uv lac top and about that later so the moss line is a limited edition um, it's seasonal colors and i guess the moss goes for moments of season i received one of them as a sample with my previous order and i wanted to show you how it applies and i will tell you later how it lasted as well So going back to the base coat, because this is what I'm using right now, um, I have used actually both of um, Mosaic base coats, the regular one and their architect one, and I kind of find both of them similar. The first one is supposed to be used, I guess, on more of a normal nail, and it's supposed to be used quite thin. And the second one, you can also use it thin, the architect one, but you can also build up the nail with it a little bit more. That's why it's called architect. So with the architect, you can correct the uh, the shape of the nail a little bit. So they both, I find, ex soak extremely well. And I would say that Mosaic soaks off the easiest compared to, um, or the fastest compared to any other brands that I have ever used, even faster than shellac. But I find that the color soaks off super easy in like almost one chunk. Um, but the base coat kind of stays behind, which is kind of not a big deal because it it almost looks like it's a solid kind of gel, gel um, coated on nail. But once you go to push it off, it's super, super soft, like it's almost like a jello. So it's not even really stuck to the nail anymore. The only thing with the base coats is the kind of issue that I have been having, I guess, is that they shrink sometimes a little bit. So they kind of pull away from the edges and like around the cuticle area so when that happens you will see that if you let it happen that when you apply the color and you try to apply it close to the skin the color will follow the base coat and it will also pull away and there was kind of no correcting it so the base coat what i do with the base coat and i think that's what's recommended with this brand is to flash cure each finger which is kind of a bit of a pain it adds a little bit of time to the application i would say at least a minute or two because you kind of flash cure it for i don't know really three seconds but it becomes six because people are not paying attention sometimes um, so the client has to be on the ball with you and just quickly flash cure without hitting the nail possibly <laughs> So the color that I received, like I mentioned, is called plus 23 Celsius and um, it's a coral, kind of like a warmer coral and it's a little almost faded looking, which is not a bad thing. It's just like a softer coral. Um, the consistency of it is much different uh, compared to the other mosaic color gel polishes. This one is much thicker. It's not like a polish, it's more like a like a gel consistency and it's much more pigmented. You when I was kind of um, using it on a tip to apply, you, you can apply it in one coat, but I I never do on the nails. I always do two coats just because I want to make sure that it's cured properly. And for a smoother application, I prefer two thin coats as opposed to one thicker one. So I still apply two coats and you can see that I'm not very super comfortable with this gel as I'm applying it because this is literally the first time I used it I just had a chance to use it on the tip on like a you know swatch tip first and then I just used it on this friend of mine um, and you know I think it worked very well but it, sometimes it just takes a little bit to get used to the consistency to work with it uh, better so the bottle of this product is a little bit bigger I, I like the packaging actually it has the cool kind of a label on the on the on the neck of the bottle so you can see the color very quickly um, 
because I'm actually not super crazy about the small bottles that Mosaic change their UV lac to. There was something else that I wanted to say about the bottle, but I'm not sure now. But anyway, okay, so the top coats. Let's talk about the top coats. So the first coat, that uh, top coat, on the first hand um, that I used was called the Perfect Top. And I'm not super uh, f familiar with that product. I'm not super comfortable yet with it. It's a new top coat for me. And um, it applies quite thin. So it's almost like a little slippery kind of, it has a slippery feel to it. And when you apply a little bit more pressure, it creates like a little patches almost, you know what I mean? And so you kind of have to, so that's why I kind of went back and forth a um, couple times to make sure that it covers. So one thing I noticed about this top coat is that it creates a little bit of heat. So that's why I set the lamp to a low heat and uh, this way the client can avoid the, the heat spike. The second top coat that I used on the second hand is the UV lac with the gold top and that one is really nice i'm used to this one that's what i usually use with mosaic um, it's easy to apply it it kind of when you're applying it it gives a nice resistance it's not too slippery the shine also is very good but it feels a little bit softer than the perfect top and i don't find any uh, heat spike with this top coat. So the client just came back yesterday for the um, the manicure and it's been two and a half weeks and the product lasted actually very well. She had some free edge, little tiny chips, but she's been working, she's been doing some renovation. So I'm actually quite amazed that none of the nails actually peeled or anything like that, unfortunately. And I Regret it that I didn't do a video of the removal because the removal was very interesting. It, it was very good uh, But I don't have the video so I'll kind of explain a little bit. Yeah, it was just a super busy day and I just didn't feel like sitting up the camera and just fiddling with that. So what I heard is that the this moss gel or MOS formula doesn't soak off as well as the other um, colors so I kind of decided to help it a little bit by uh, buffing the top coat a little bit and I really didn't remove as much as I would normally remove with Laxio for example so all I did was I just took a fine sanding band and I just kind of scratched the top so I just kind of went very quickly and just not even remove the whole top coat, but I just kind of put a good kind of scratches and I just put some texture into the surface. And I wrapped it, put a heating pad on. I waited about six minutes and you know what? It came off beautifully. Um, again, the color came off in big chunks, um, came off very clean, um, the color. The base coat was kind of stuck to the nail, like I mentioned earlier, that it does that. Um, but again, with just a push, it just comes off it's very very soft it's not like a, a gel that you kind of have to really push off or anything like that so it just feels very spongy and very soft to remove the nails were very in a very good condition underneath and also one thing that i forgot to mention earlier that at the beginning of the video i also used their freshener so that's the blue bottle and the red bottle that you see is their primer so that's their non-acidic primer and you can use it on the free edge and I kind of wonder how that would work if you applied it over full nail because I don't really find that the primer kind of makes it more difficult to soak off. So I have to try it maybe once. But yeah, so this is it. The formula is interesting um, of this gel polish. I would recommend you try it if you like the, the look of it. If you use Mosaic, go for it for sure. So this is it. I hope you find this video helpful. And if you're a nail technician and you're interested in more detailed info and possibly in one-on-one -on -one education or coaching, please email me. I'm available. Email me at thesalonlife at gmail.com. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.